Hey campers, welcome to today's arts and crafts video. Ranger Paul is gonna be showing you guys how to make air dry clay. Ranger air Paul. Dry clay. Why don't you show them what our badge is for Absolutely. this craft video? This is our badge little fox, and he's looking up at the clouds and mountains. There he is. What we're gonna be making today is called air dry clay. All you're gonna need for this is some lotion, um, hand lotion, or I've heard that um, hair conditioner works as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna be using um, some cornstarch as well. So I'm going to put the, uh, I have some, a bunch of lotion in here, and I'm gonna put that in first. Roughly how much lotion is that? So that's about half a cup, but I would say use about as much. Um, if you're gonna be using less, you're gonna wanna use just as much lotion as you do cornstarch. And then add cornstarch as you see fit, but the lotion is going to be um, more prominent, I guess, when you make it. So you're gonna probably have to add um, cornstarch in the end. So then I'm gonna add my cornstarch and start stirring it. Um, and just like, it might feel like you have a lot more cornstarch, but just keep stirring it and whatever you're making, it'll probably get more wet than it will dry, so. Okay, so basically like you want to have more, like everything's kind of based off how much lotion you have, is that correct? Right, and so it looks really dry right now, but as as I keep stirring it, I, I, I believe it's gonna get like more wet. And then the more you stir it, the better it'll come out. So this is something that we made a little bit earlier, and that's just a little bit of lotion and a little cornstarch. And, but it made that little ball and it was really fun to play with. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it into a square. This is so cool. It was so, about four teaspoons of cornstarch that was. So Ranger Paul made this a while ago and it's actually already starting to harden. So that's why you can see a lot of cracks on it, but earlier and, it was super, super smooth. And also I'm gonna add my food coloring Food coloring now. Yeah. Just so as I stir it, it'll mix in my color. So I'm gonna be go with blue because it's very dark color and I feel like it's gonna show up the best. Oh, so if they have super glue? Super, if, you have, if they have super glue, um, or if mom or dad has a glue gun for crafts making, um, they can operate that and they can show you uh, how it works. But then after, once your pieces are hardened, once all your little bits and pieces are hardened, then you can use the super glue or the glue gun to attach all your pieces together and make your final. So since this is a little sticky and you can see on my hands, like if you use food coloring, it's probably going to dye your hands blue too. But since it's still a little bit sticky, I'm going to add just a little bit more cornstarch, maybe about awesome. half a teaspoon. And this is when it's going to come all together. And this feels so cool. Like I want to touch it. It's just so cool. It looks so cool. This one's starting to harden. So if I play, if I... If I play with this a little more, it would be okay, but you'd also start seeing a lot of a lot more cracks in my ob in the air so, dry clay just because it's hardening. Probably real, it's probably good right now. Like wow. as air dry clay. So this is pretty much what that felt like earlier, right? Right. Yeah. So with just probably thirty to sixty minutes of just being exposed to the air, this turned into this. All right. So you're gonna want to kind of form uh, your creation pretty quickly to avoid it looking awkward and clumpy. And as you can Drive see, like my hands look really bad just cause I used it right after, um, right when it was still kind of wet, but Ethan's look pretty clean. Yeah, good job. Rachel. Like you're playing with Play-Doh, so. Yeah, here you go, man. That's how we did this craft. It's really fun. Um, it's a really, really awesome craft and really uh, something I, I'm sure y'all will enjoy. And if you complete this, craft like we showed you earlier you will get that badge so um in your houses you don't have to make this much but um just try to make it like this and show us your creations that you make out of it thank you so much for uh joining us in this video i hope you have a great rest of your day all right campers so as you can see we just finished putting the final touches on our molds our clay molds uh, Ranger Paul is just finishing up on his, so Ranger Aaron, what, what do we got here, man? It's a dolphin, man. Got a dolphin, get Ranger. A, get a good angle to the side there, and you'll you'll really see the dolphin. Oh yeah. Look at that. That looks great. That looks really good. 
What about you, Ranger Paul? I made a shark. Baby shark, doo 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 doo, baby shark. Looks good. And then uh, I'm making like a cartoon looking uh, whale. So we're gonna show you guys this in just a few minutes and show you what it looks like once these things have hardened. All right, guys. So it's actually been overnight since we made these clay animals. And um, as you can see, unfortunately, uh, Ranger Aaron's awesome looking dolphin has started to fall apart. He's missing a fin and his top, his dorsal fin, I think is the top one, and one of his uh, side fins. Uh, Ranger Paul's shark has fallen in half. And oh, there comes part of the tail fell off again too. Um, and he's also missing a fin. And then here's mine. I had smaller pieces. Um, so I thought I was going to be okay. They're kind of chunky, but I think they're still a little too small because when they break apart, it, it kind of crumbles a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do is um, use this uh, glue gun, and it's hot, so I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to use this glue gun, and I'm going to make, I'm going to try to fix a few of the issues that uh, our creations here are having. So um, whether you're using a hot glue gun, make sure you have an adult with you. Um, to put it together. Um, you could maybe try to use regular Elmer's glue. I don't think that's going to work really well. Um, so glue gun is probably going to work best. The other thing that might work well is uh, super glue. And if you have regular clay or play-doh at the house, uh, you could put that on. I'm going to attach, this is supposed to be my whale's fin. So it kind of fell apart here, but I'm just going to go ahead and attach it anyway so you guys can see what it might look like. Um, this is supposed to go right there. And for his tail, so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And the way hot glue works is obviously number one, you don't touch it until it's cooled down, because um, otherwise it'll burn your hand. And then you're going to hold it there. I'm going to press it against the spot I want it to be in. Then I'm going to hold it, just like that. So press and hold it. It's still falling a little bit. bit. So I'm pressing it into that spot there. And as you can see, my piece was really. Even though it was kind of chunky to begin with, it's hardened and um, it's kind of falling apart. So just have to be really careful. And then these were like the fins. These are supposed to be the fins <laughs> right here. These two pieces here are the fins for my uh, whale. They're kind of tiny and they've obviously fallen apart, like I said. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can attach them um, just cause um, I wanna see if I can get the project finished. Oh no, as you can see, it's kind of falling apart. So um, what I will tell you guys is when you're working on this at home, there goes the rest of my whale. Uh, make sure <laughs> that you use big pieces. You don't want to have tiny, the more tiny and the more thin your clay, your air dry clay pieces are, the more likely they are to break. Um, as you can see, this big chunky part here is still together, right? Um, my whale is going to be missing a lot of pieces. Actually, you know what, Ranger Aaron? He's behind the camera, guys, by the way. Say hi to Ranger Aaron. Um, there's a way for me to still do this. It's not gonna look like exactly how I want it, but I'm gonna attach this misshaped fin. Woo, careful not to touch, it's hot. To the side of my whale. You guys can see that, okay? And then, since those are air drying, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish my whale by drawing eyes on either side with my marker. And I have some paint here, but paint would take a while to set up, so instead of using paint, I'm using my marker. I'm just gonna use my marker almost like a paintbrush and just uh, just dab it in there. Major Aaron, why are you laughing? Because you dabbed. Uh -huh. Not on camera though. They can't see that. Pretty sure they saw. It. They did. Oh man. Pretty sure. Yes, Maybe not. I definitely just dabbed when I said dab. Dab. Well, it doesn't look like my wings are gonna stand, fortunately. But there is the eyes of my whale. At least has a tail. That's good. And then here Cute. is his smile. Cute. So if you look at it from the side angle, you can see here. Can they see that? Uh -huh. There you go. A little yeah. whale with a smile on either side. Very nice. There's my whale. Very nice. So um, let's see, guys, if we can. I'm going to see if we can try to put part of Ranger Paul's shark back together. So as you can see, there's two parts here. I'm definitely not going to try to attach uh, the fins together. They're, they're just too small. They're going to crumble and fall apart. But why don't you actually take a look in there? Look at that. See that? So the in the outside is lighter color than the inside because the light the outside is exposed to air. The inside is just kind of soft, er, because um, obviously it's not exposed to air. It's only just been exposed to air. So 
I'm kind of using my glue gun all around there. And the cool thing about what we did, guys, is that we showed you <laughs> um, idea of what can happen with this project if you do it right. So as you can see, like the chunkier parts of our project stay together. And the thinner parts, the really tiny parts, those fell, fell off. So I'm just going to push that together right there. And um, that would hold us in. Now, guys, remember, the, the chunkier your pieces are, the more likely they are to stay together. Um, give, us, give it your best shot. We're excited to see what you guys can come up with. And um, even if it falls apart, we still want to know, hey, I gave it my best shot. Here's what it came out doing. And if, any, if nothing else, you can have fun with playing with the dough in your hands and squishing it. It's almost like another kind of slime. So thanks for joining us for today's arts and crafts video.